The commuter flight from Belfast, Northern Ireland, was supposed to land in Cork at 9 a.m. Maybe Kerry. 30 minutes later, it's still circling the airport. Cork faces out to the Atlantic, so fog is, is very common. Uh, and fog will roll in, and it will roll out, uh, sometimes at no notice. In our part of the world, we have a, a saying, it was like pea soup, because it was very, very thick. Hope we land soon. We've got work to do. There are 10 passengers waiting to land this morning, including Lawrence Wilson, traveling to Cork for the day on business. I was going to Cork to do forklift truck training. I had been in that same location doing the same course uh, several times before. So it was sort of really old hat to go down. I've done it before. Today's flight is aboard a Fairchild Metro 3. Flying the plane today is First Officer Andrew Cantle of England. While he concentrates on circling over Cork, Spanish Captain Jordi Sola Lopez is checking the weather at nearby airports. Surface wind is calm. Visibility is 900 meters in fog. All copy, thanks very much. And uh, the weather, is it improving in Cork? At 9.35, the controller tells the captain the fog is lifted slightly. Visibility at touchdown zone is 500 meters. OK, in that case, any chance to perform one approach there? You are clear to land runway 17. Clear to land runway 17. After 30 minutes circling the airport, the crew must now shift focus to the complex task of getting their plane on the ground. We're good. I've landed and worse. Glide slope is coming in. The pilot confirms the plane is lining up with the runway. OK, glide slope coming in. And they're descending at the correct speed. Speed's OK. I took control of the power, OK? The captain tells the first officer he'll adjust the engine power during the landing. That's fine, yeah. All the lights are on. Landing gear is down. Yes, the weather is much better here. So I was on the left-hand side of the plane, uh, looking out just behind the wing. And I remember I couldn't see anything, no runway, nothing at all. The captain pulls the thrust levers back to reduce power. Unexpectedly, the plane rolls hard to the left. What the heck? I remember looking out the window and seeing grass about 10 foot below me. Well, I knew that wasn't good. Thought I was gone. I did for a minute or two. I thought I was gone. I thought, this is it. I'm, I'm out of here. That's all about it. 